Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching magnet television because what else are you going to do? Uh, this is Stephen Merritt from the Magnetic Fields, and you're watching Magnet TV. I don't think I've ever had a favorite song. I don't know what it would mean to have a favorite song. Do other people have favorite songs after the age of 10 or something? Um, I, I think it's not the way musicians work to have a favorite song. You have to uh, play... Every song you play, you have to play again and again and again until, on some level, you you know it too well, and you can kind of not even hear it anymore. Um, I don't think I would want to have a favorite song that I wanted to listen to all the time. Wouldn't I get tired of it? I do have an album that I've had an unhealthily close relationship with, which is Fleetwood Mac's Tusk. It has happened to me twice in my life that I have thought, this is a time when I'm not doing all that much for the next hour, I might as well listen to music. What music shall I put on? Oh, I know. I'll put on Fleetwood Mac Tusk. And then I reach for the record, and I discover that there's already music playing, actually. And what do you know? It is Fleetwood Mac's Tusk. It's just that I have listened to it so much that I can't hear it anymore. And I can't tell the difference between it playing in my head and it playing on the record player. Uh, I've gone through a number of copies of Fleetwood Mac Tusk in different formats. I've had... The, the vinyl and the CD uh, in, in multiple copies. Um, there is an edit uh, in one song that makes a difference between the vinyl and the CD, and it's like 11 seconds, 15 seconds uh, of instrumental in, in one song. And it bugs me that there's that difference. It really bugs me. I don't feel like there's a best show that I've ever seen, but one best show that I've ever seen, one of the great shows that I've ever seen, is Einstürzen der Neubauten at Danceteria in late 1983, early 1984, I can't remember. And they did what their usual routine was at that point. They went to the junkyard before the show and got dumpsters and uh, gigantic sheets of corrugated metal and oil drums and sawhorses and uh, they made a construction site on stage at Danceteria. So they did have an electric guitar or something, but mostly it was mic'd or amplified gigantic bits of metal stuff being banged by lead pipes and other metal stuff. So it really didn't need to be amplified much at all. In fact, when they took a jackhammer to the Danceteria stage and Danceteria turned off the sound system, you could barely tell because they were making so much noise acoustically that they might as well not have been amplified at all. And I was the fool standing directly in front of the stage and I was being showered with sparks and I held my and I held my hand in front of my eyes to shield my eyes, uh, but I had s spark scars all over my neck for weeks. And uh, worse than that, it really it actually permanently damaged my hearing. Uh, I have had less high end in my right ear ever since that show. Uh, but what an amazing show! And. Uh, 
Blixa Bargeld is God. Uh, and the other great show I ever saw was Tiny Tim at the Rats, the Rathskeller in Boston. There were more people on stage than in the audience, but everyone on stage and in the audience, including the staff of the Rathskeller, was in tears. Uh, the show was so beautiful. Tiny Tim. I made the mistake of eating sog paneer, which I will never be able to eat again, uh, which is spinach and cheese. And uh, when I got back to the hotel, it had a gravel driveway, and I projectile vomited the sog paneer, spinach and cheese, all over the gigantic gravel driveway. Glad I didn't have to watch whoever had to clean that up with hopefully some sort of hose. And then I had to play a show. Oh, in between I heard an entire Robbie Williams concert from, from my bed while I was trying not to make a mess of my hotel room. Uh, then I had to play a show. So uh, the rock doctor was brought in uh, who apparently was the guy who made it possible for Shane McGowan to get on stage uh, for Pogue's shows at the same venue in downtown Dublin. And uh, the, the rock doctor shot me up with something or other. I don't know <clears throat> what it was. Uh, it's kind of like in Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb. You don't know what's in the needle. They just shoot you up and you feel better. Um, so, heaven knows what was in the needle, but uh, I was able to play the show. I was just almost unable to make myself heard into the microphone. So, uh, it was like this. So, everybody on stage had to be that quiet also in order to not drown me out. Uh, so, the entire show was played pianissimo, and according to everyone on stage and everyone that we heard from in the audience, it was incredible. It was a great show. Uh, but it was absolute torture getting there and being there. Uh, and I, I, I wish we had a film of the show because I'm sure it would be horrifying for me to see, but it might be great to use excerpts from and, you know, the magnetic fields live in Dublin, We're Sorry, or something like that. Um, Hopefully that will never happen again. I, I know that I will never eat sog paneer again, and now I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't eat sog paneer again. Uh, so that danger is over. Sine.